So I did some videos with the uh, put image command that allowed you to display images in uh, transparent mode or at least not print the uh, or display the uh, background image. And I did that with uh, Turbo C, it's not Turbo C, uh, Turbo Pascal and QBasic, Quick Basic. Um, and so I did it a few different ways. And one of the ways was to uh, with Turbo Pascal was to uh, basically write directly to the uh, VGA video memory. Now that only works with the 320 by 200 mode. And I've decided to see if I could do that with uh, Turbo C. And uh, I came pretty close. Uh, it, it does work. And it's uh, well, not identical. I've, I'm learning C myself here and I've uh, I couldn't do it line by line, but I did manage to do it a little differently than some of the examples on the internet, and I think it's slightly better. Uh, if, if anyone doesn't think so, they can correct me. But one of the things that usually, uh, with uh, writing directly to memory, is having to calculate the offset. So you put the uh, starting address, which is the uh, A000, four zeros and uh, then in order to get to the actual you know line you have to multiply by the line width and uh, anyway this method just uh, completely avoids that you don't have to keep calculating that every time and I did this in Turbo Pascal and I thought it'd be good if I could do it in Turbo C I didn't see anybody else doing it and so it required a little experimenting you have to actually put the um, put the array in a struct and then put a pointer to the struct. If there's a simpler way of doing this, someone who's much better at C than I am, please let me know. But this is, this seems to work and uh, it's very close to the original Turbo Pascal code. So let me just run it uh, so we can see what happens. So here's uh, the exact image. I'm loading one with the an array and I'm loading the other from a file but it's the exact image and if we display it uh, we specify for this image right here that we don't want to display the color zero so that's what we choose our as our transparent color and I, I can change that just to show you that it's actually working um, so let's change the uh, yellow in one of the balls and I know from experimenting it's color 44. So that just shows we're using more than 16 colors. Let's run it again. And if we look this, we can see that where yellow is supposed to be right here where I have the pointer, we could see the background image. So in this image, you can see the yellow here. It's the exact image. But in this image, we're choosing not to display that color. So it gives you sort of like a... Uh, a see-through effect. So let me just go over the code now. I'm going to switch over to Visual Studio Code because everything just looks better there. And I'll go over not line by line but most of it. So if we look at this big chunk of code, this is the array that's generated and if I flip back to raster master here if we go to uh, file export turbo c and put image array that's what causes that output so if we minimize that if you want to change it to something else i've added the unsigned here um, normally if you're just displaying with the uh, default put image it'll work just fine but if you're specifying colors and you don't put the unsigned here anything over the color 127 might not work I'm not sure of the uh, how negative numbers are handled in C so uh, I know if you put unsigned then uh, you won't have a problem I don't know exactly the uh, behavior of uh, specifying um, numbers higher than 127 in C and what happens to them Maybe it's one of those things I have to try and figure out in the future. But uh, let's take a look at my uh, my put image function. Uh, so standard XY coordinates. 
we're also using unsigned here and there's a reason for that uh, and also which is our transparent color I have a trans call here so the way we calculate the width of the image is in the array the the uh, first and second uh, bytes uh, determine the width size and you have to add one uh, so this is what we're what we do we uh, we shift over the uh, this the second byte the first byte is uh, index zero second byte is index one we shift it over by eight then we add what's in the uh, the first byte um, and we do the same thing with height and we add one to each and that, that gives us the correct height um, we set our counter to four because everything else after the width and height is the image data so we do a for loop and basically uh, manipulate the uh, video memory here so this is the pointer to our video memory the uh, first part here is the uh, y coordinate second is the x normally it's reversed but the way the uh, the compiler handles the uh, memory mapping it's got to be accessed this way so this is this is the way it's declared if you do it the other way around it's not going to work uh, I've tried it you can try it yourself but it's not going to work so if we uh, if we go through the loop and we check is it our transparent color if it is uh, no sorry we're checking if it's not our transparent color then we basically uh, set that array to equal that value um, if it's not we skip it, it and uh, that's all the logic to it we increase our counter by one and we keep going and so that draws our transparent image um, this function here just draws those nice color bars if we go back so all these colors here that's what that function that function does and go back to visual studio code and uh, I'll go through the uh, the reading of the file so we just use standard C functions to open up the file so this is where I'm storing it you would change the location uh, for your program if you have everything in your current folder you can remove the uh, the direct path in the modified version which uh, I will upload to github it will only have the file name and I, I will include the sample image and basically we allocate memory de depending on the size of the file and then we read it into the uh, buffer uh, we're installing uh, a BGI driver um, and this is a third-party BGI driver I will include it uh, you can also find it on github I'll try to leave a link to that but I might forget that one and uh, basically we're using mode 0 for this driver which is the 320 by 200 by 256 colors and uh, we paint the screen blue this is it right here uh, we draw our bars and we display the image we use the normal put image command that's built with the uh, BGI uh, library and we use my put image so we do a side by side and you can see how the uh, transparent works we release the memory close the close the graph and wait for another key press basically so you have to keep hitting a key to exit out of the uh, demo program anyway that's about it if you have any questions or you want to correct me with my C like I said I'm just starting out with C again um, feel free to leave a comment or a better way or if you have any other ideas and uh, thanks for watching